channel today i'm going to be showing you how i colored this hair this hair is provided by nadula hair 20 inches 13 by 4 613 it is a medium sized cap 150 percent density brazilian texture it costs 238 dollars and 21 cents I will have their links down in my description box if you guys want to check them out. This color was very random. I just mixed a bunch of colors together to get this. It was just, I just wanted to do something fun just to get my mind off of everything that's going on. So yeah, if you guys want to support the Black Lives Matter movement, which I really feel like you should. Like if you're watching my video, like, go ahead. I'm going to have the information in my description box below. On the screen, I'm going to have my post notification shout out. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you guys for being first to my last video. I really appreciate it. Ah, Y'all are so sweet. Let's get right into this video. I'm going to show you guys me coloring this hair start to finish. And I'm going to show you guys me installing it and doing the style. This was a struggle because I installed this wig a couple days ago and it was a mess. And I refused to come on here looking at my I was already feeling a mess but then to actually look the part it was pissing me off so let's get right into this video I'm gonna show you guys how I got this color it was very fun to do oh my gosh this looks so amazing so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this thing up with some warm water and I'm using these two purple shampoos you don't have to use two you can just use one I recommend both of them to be honest so just fill it up to a reasonable length. I am going to be soaking three wigs and I put a big handful of that purple shampoo to make sure that the water is really purple. I don't want it to be like see-through, I want it to be super purple. And once it's purple, I'm going to put the wigs in there. You can see how yellow this hair is. So I'm soaking these wigs for 15 to 20 minutes. Keep in mind, I'm going to be doing more color videos. That's why I have three wigs. But this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just soaking and making sure that you're finger combing the hair so everything gets coated. And I'm putting all of them in. And you can see that yellow tone of the hair is going to cancel out the yellow tone and make it be a blank canvas for us to color. As you can see, as you can see right here, you can see that color. It's literally toning it. So you're going to just put that and make sure that you flip the hair over so it's on the back side of the wig so that the water is really on it. I don't know. I just feel like this makes sense, so just do that. I'm leaving it for 15 minutes and you can see that tone is washed out. This was the wig I showed you earlier that was really yellow. It gives it a white tone. So these are the colors we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using my ginger, flaming orange, and ruby red. I put some conditioner in a little container and I'm going to be using the coconut curls conditioner and just pull it up to halfway-ish. And once you fill it up, we're going to be experimenting with different colors. Look at Jacob. So I'm putting the red one and then the orange ones, but just putting one little dot because I'm trying to get to a coral type of color. So just test the color out and don't put too much. You can always build the color. And this is how it looks and I feel like it's a little too light I do test the color on the napkin just to see the pigmentation of it so I went back in and I add a little bit more color because it wasn't at the pigmentation that I want it to be pigmentation color <laughs> see right here i use this paper towel just to see the color payoff and i liked it so far so i'm using this green one um i'm gonna have all the colors down below or on the screen i'm gonna pop up the color of this on the screen so you guys can know what colors i'm using for the green 
I'm using the Kiss Tentation and I'm also using this Express hair color. This is a green and the other one is more of like a emerald. Mix both, both of them together and I wanted it to be this pigmented. I didn't want it to be diluted so we're leaving that like so. And now we're ready to color our hair. Alright you guys, before I color, I want to tell you to spray your knots, like drench your knots with got to be spray. <sighs> I know, at the end of the video, my wig was a mess. That's because I went in and recolored the roots and I did not spray the knots again. But you can see how white the hair looks. That's because of what we did earlier, um, toning it out with the, with the purple shampoo. And I'm going in with the coral color that we made with the conditioner. And I'm going to put that in the midsection of the hair. I just want this to be like a transition color. I was literally just playing around, so you can watch me do this. I'm just applying it like regular and smoothing it out with my fingers. Very self-explanatory. You guys can watch this, and I'll be right back when I have more commentary. bottom section of the hair all i'm gonna do is just literally take this color and try to gently not even gently just carefully put it at the ends of the hair and make sure you're using the brush and your two fingers to smooth it out and blend it into the coral do not so much take a big amount of it and put it at the top as you can see i'm flicking my brush up and i'm using my fingers to smooth it through just because i don't want the ends of the hair that blue i don't want it to overpower the whole hair i want the whole hair to mainly be like um a more warm tone color i don't want it to be this this cool tone blue so you can just watch this it's very self-explanatory to look at what i'm doing that means to explain it because you guys can see so i'm gonna play some music and you guys can watch the process not that i'm not trying to trust you i just always watch my back because boy i'm not just anybody so please don't treat me like that i know a lot of niggas want me because i'm the full package delivery but i'm stuck on you like glue it's so hard for me to move this shit is old news i already told you i'm not here Argue. When I rinsed the hair out, all I did was rinse it with conditioner. With conditioner, I did not put shampoo in the hair, but I do recommend rinsing it with some shampoo. Rinse it as much as you can until you can't see the color running anymore. I went back in because I was like, I thought I was gonna like this, you know, like a blonde root type of thing, but I wasn't really feeling it. So I went back in and I colored the roots like a burgundy-ish, orange-ish color. So you're just gonna section off the hair so we can get to the roots easily. I'm 
I'm gonna mix this orange color from Temptation. This is their Flaming Orange. This is the color I showed you earlier, the same ones that we mix into the conditioner. I'm gonna use some Honey Brown. And I'm testing it out on the same thing that I told you before. I added some conditioner just to lightly well, dilute the color. I added the littlest amount of conditioner. And we're gonna color the roots. Okay, so you guys wanna make sure that you spray down the hair with got to be spray or any hairspray of your choice i should have really just left this i did go back in and color the roots again just because i left this stupid blonde piece out and it wasn't looking too nice so you guys can just go ahead and put this color all over the root don't part out the front section unless you want to but i did have to go back in and recolor the well just at the front So you guys can watch me do this very self-explanatory i'm just taking my time but i've speed up the video so you guys don't have to sit through this long process of me doing it hard not to i can't you just be mine i promise you'll be fine all i need is one time all i need is one time this shit is old news i already told you i'm not here to argue you just make it hard not to i can't you just be mine I Just so you guys know, I sat this wig under the dryer for 15 minutes with the color just so the heat can make the color penetrate the strand. Then I went I went in with this color and I put it right at the ends of the hair underneath that turquoise blue just to darken up the hair a little bit more and give it more of a navy type of thing. So the turquoise was just a highlight to the navy. And don't put it too much like all all over the hair. You still want some of that turquoise peeking through, but kind of, you know, do it like a little highlight effect. So I really wanted it to be more of a green color than a uh, turquoise, I don't know. And do this all over the head. My bitch, she a baddie, she's never her feet fly. Her swag is unique, I uh, keep on feet. Tell them my chain, I make ten in a week. Cause I know me when I step up the V. Only on me, diamonds VV. I dive in the sun, they eat it. Just to do bodies, just to f the sleep. Okay, I'm going in with my Tresemme heat protectant, and I'm gonna put that all over the hair because I am going to be straightening this way. Brush that through so it's going to be coated all over the hair. 
I'm blow drying it just using my blow dryer and a brush because I did intend to put some curls in it and I actually installed this wig uh, um, prior but it did not come out to my liking so I did go back in and like I told you colored the roots again I'm using my Babyliss Nano Pro flat iron. This is the 1.5 inch flat iron and flat iron the whole wig. I'm not going to show you guys the whole flat iron process because I feel like everybody knows how to flat iron hair. But I'm just showing you a little demo right here. Everyone knows that I mess around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely that yeah. don't mean that you can't hold it down. Hold it down, huh? Hold it you down. You see, huh? I'm always out of town. That's what you say, right? But I don't say. think that don't mean that we... As you can see, look at the root. I did go in and I put a, the red color with some burgundy and a little bit of brown just to give it this deep burgundy-ish color, but I did not put the got to be spray on the lace. So you can see the lace is a little bit red. I'm just spraying down the wig on the side. I only glued the sides down in a little bit of areas on the front of the wig, but I make sure I glued the sides down because I don't want the side burdens to lift when I swoop the hair across my face. Just brush it out. You guys can watch this process. I just speed it up. I sped the video up so it wasn't like a long, long process because I feel like if you're not new here, you already seen me do this a thousand times. I'm using the hot comb to flatten out the hair. At this point, you want to make sure that you're using the hot comb to mold that hair into the way that you're going to style your wig. And I'm styling this wig in a swoop. So I'm laying down the bang area in a swoop. I'm putting it behind my ear and I'm going to pin that out of the way just to do some touch-ups and the edges. Using an edge brush, I'm going to swoop it and then I'm going to trim it to my liking. Yeah. Think about what we could have been and get mad excited Still got love in my heart for you, but I had to hide it You say we not enemies, but you acting like it Even in dark times, I'm still at my brightest I feel like you ruin for others to win You know that internet shit still get under my skin I think about your sisters, little brothers and twin I know they like I Go in and perfect your part Use your hot comb again to make sure that it's nice and sleek like I hope you ain't fucking with him Lately I've been on the road a lot Been hoping you come around, but I know you not I never thought we would grow apart I really gotta pick what I'm choosing to say I probably wasn't shit so you threw it away What's love? Cause I didn't know I was stuck inside the dirt, I ain't get to grow Out of nine years, I ain't got shit to show And it's just the little things that I miss the most Being happy is what I pray for If I could do it over, I would, but way more I know I'm good by myself, but I gotta make Ruby Kisses two-sided foundation in the color 12 and I'm going to use this to define the part and make sure that it's not burgundy. Use the back of the comb to smooth that in and give it a more natural look. style the hair make sure that you're spraying some of your hairspray in this hair but i actually recommend that you spray it in your hand and that will give you better control over it than you spraying it on the hair and it goes in your eye because it went in my eye swoop it behind your ear and use a big bobby pin to hold it in place Do a little final touch up with your hot comb and this is it. Comb the hair out and you're good to go. Um, I'm just touching up little areas with the same number 12 foundation just to make sure that it's looking as natural as possible and this is it.
the ends are a little straggly so i went ahead and cut it and i just measured it using my shirt like right where the line was and i was too lazy to turn on the hot um the flat iron so i'm just using my hot comb to press it out and i this is basically the look i gave it a little little curl with the hot comb too super cute yes we're loving this i'm loving it i'm loving it all right you guys this is the end of the video let me know if you guys liked it and if it was if it's easy to follow i know it's just like a sporadic video i just i just wanted to color some hair and i told you guys i was gonna do more coloring so if you guys want to see me post different hair colors every week i think that's gonna be my thing thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video comment down below a blueberry some like fruit different type of fruits because i think this is giving me blueberry blueberry vibes it's giving me apple vibes like all of that so comment down below and i'll know that you got to this part in the video do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will definitely see you guys in my next video bye first but i'm sure you're fine i blame myself all the time because i saw the signs want to move on then i don't i'm borderline but between love and hate you gotta draw the line i just hope the love that you're getting is more than mine you made me think ain't no reason to be your friend because you ain't even care about leaving me in the wind i always thought you believe in me in the end but until we meet again, I'ma hold it down.